Welcome back to Let's Play... Oh boy, I'm back here, huh? To Let's Play Control! I'm Burning Dog Face, and yes, I did start recording as soon as I hit the loading screen. <laughs> uh, I wanted to be surprised for both of us. Before we get going, shout out to uh, a couple of people who let me know that uh, things weren't quite one-to-one -one with uh, Mjolnir and Excalibur. Uh, including Elthwar and uh, Derek Floyd. Apparently, uh, Mjolnir can only be picked up by the Worthy was a detail they made up for the Marvel comics. Uh, in the actual mythology, it was uh, the hammer was so heavy that Thor required a special belt to give him the strength to be able to lift it. And, uh... Apparently, there's a lot of disagreement in the uh, various tellings of the legend as to whether Excalibur and the Sword and the Stone are the same sword or not. So, hey, there's that. Uh, Elthwar also said while I'm here, The Hiss working with the Mold sounds really, really bad, since that's two different dimensional invaders with very different capabi uh, sorry, capacities that somehow are working together. I'm not sure what is worse, one is infecting the other, or that they can communicate and agreed to work together. Oh boy. I don't like the sound of that either. But, uh, where the hell am I meant to be right now? God damn. I was really hoping I would be further away from here. Although I did get a comment from someone saying that there was something hidden to the south end of this. That was before I even got here. It's like, hey, when you find the transit corridor, no context. Suspicious. Oh, hey. You look important. Oh, yes, that. Alright, fine. Let's just go to where we're meant to go, then. But I'll stop right over here on the way over, since I can just push this button and get my health back. Oh, new astral construct. Oh, yes, the third upgrade for Shatter, of course. Corrupted Sample. Ooh, I can actually just check that. Where do I get corrupted samples from? No, 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 no. Yes, uh, mold. Shit. Well, on the plus side, I rotated the thing already. Hmm, any goods or services up there? Honestly, I'm surprised it isn't just carving a huge trench in the ground wherever it goes. What are these? Are these spotlights? Some kind of heavy duty canister? <laughs> Huh. All right. Hey, I take that back, because that fight that was appearing at the end turned out to be two of the rotating Tasmanian Devil guys. Oh, this is going to suck. And they've got a bubble! Amazing! Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, 
fuck? I am a goddamn surgeon with this shotgun. Oh, there were fucking three of them. What the hell was that? I can't even answer, uh, uh, interrogate the guy. Although I suppose in fairness that would literally be shooting first and asking questions later. I don't remember that happening the last time I was here. I didn't even have time to turn my timer off, so I'll just keep going. I mean, I kind of want some pistachios. But not that bad. <laughs> I like that there were healthy options in there. Pistachios and trail mix and shit. Oh, were these the booths? No, they probably wouldn't be here. The uh, the black uh, rock booths they were talking about, where you get on the internet. Nah, it's just looks like a fucking garage storage area. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so this is the. Uh, this is one of the weirder uh, additions to the uh, the collection. I was looking into this. This is the plane that really, really, really wants to be a professional singer. We uh, haven't figured that one out yet. We just acquired this. All right. How the fuck did I get out of here again? I've lost myself. There I am! Yes, that's right, there was an elevator. Hmm. It's almost like none of these crates have anything in them. I wonder why it goes sideways like that. I mean, I kind of thought Pierce is going to be a crossbow, but this actually looks like a crossbow. Or at least like a miniature drow hand crossbow. If I might make a particularly nerdy reference. On a side note, I am genuinely amazed I've not yet heard them. Pain elevators. Speaking of the, refer the exact reference I was about to make, I'm surprised they haven't put the uh, elevator music from Max Payne, which I've uh, started using as uh, my elevator cuts for this series. In case you were wondering what was up with that. Yes, that's right, I did all the faffing around already. Are you the dog guy again? I don't think so. Well, that isn't a no. Well, this seems new. Um... Well, I hate this. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years. Okay, you know what? Uh, I don't want to listen to that noise while I listen to that thing, so let's just listen to it here. You're listening to America This is Overnight, earlier than the other one. Celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. with us. Here's our first caller. Hi. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, 
I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident, but this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. Um. I, I'm sorry. It's just my brother lived there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Hor Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Huh. Sorry about that. In the shadows. Oh yes, now it's actually playing in real time. Sure, sure, sure. Well, here we go. Ordinary summary. Here we are. Yes, in amongst all these other summaries. AWE 24. Yeah, okay, checking the numbers. Sorry, checks out. <laughs> Higher than the other one. Uh, event date ranged from August 30th, 2002 to September 14th, 2002 in Ordinary, Maine. Stephen King says, uh, Maine is like any other part of the United States, except it's more haunted. An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by an object of power, slide projector, ID 00P15, discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides is used in the projector, it should be is for set, not R for slides, uh, is used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used with the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. On August 30th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector, COOP15, case file and darling presentations redacted for details. Uh, a team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived on the site in person? Arrived on the site in September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children, who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned, with the exception of one. Jesse escaped, and agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. See interviews redacted and prime candidate program files P1 through P5. Calling it. You know what occurred to me? That, uh, in addition to being... It can enormously morally questionable. Uh, the Bureau's actions... Uh... Nothing they do helps people. They don't prevent these actions. They, there is not a single recorded uh, thing in here where the Bureau showed up before the event was over and saved some lives with their knowledge. They always come in after the shit hits the fan and make life worse for anyone who is involved. I hope Jesse can fix things up around here, but given that she, that her being fucking director is just another experiment, I don't see how she can. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life. Popular culture, urban legends, but 
we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. Ah. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Oops. Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Well, that's given me the thought of what if we're the only species that does that, and that's why everything is so interested in this planet. Hey, look at these weirdos who can change the universe by thinking about it. Weird. Ordinary AWE Stage 4.A. Town proper, witness testimonies. Oh, Dylan Faden, here we go. I just skipped to the end there. Uh, Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There's a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung nut monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog. Like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. The projector wouldn't turn off, so I changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. JF Therapy Session 2010. Uh, Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Dylan Faden, Interview 2002. Extrapolated information, additional slide designation hand, SID 36, is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation Dog Neil. Oh boy. I don't like that. Oh yes, and a uh, shout out to uh, my good friend Ronan Drake, who pointed out a very... S a very clever detail on Remedy's part that I had not considered. Okay, uh, P6 and P7. They took P6 in, and they left P7 to Rome to do whatever it was she would normally do without any of their influence. Uh, why do I mention this? Because when you're doing a study, an experiment, you do the thing to one set of, uh, you know, observed variables, and you see how that affects it. And you do nothing to the other one to have a point of comparison. So the, 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 the part of the experiment you do nothing to, you know, the, uh, the child you let go and let wander around, is called the control group. God damn it. <laughs> the control group. Ordinary AWE Stage 2. Sled Hill Cave. After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. DF, interview 2002. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They'd been using the temple slide. We called it that, but it was really, it was a broken concrete thing. Like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The Not Mother lived there with her babies? Children? I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. They were changing into little monsters. We called them dung monkeys. Jesse Faden, Therapy Session 2010. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide des designation Temple. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation Not Mother, EID 19928. 19928? How many fucking entities have you assholes encountered? And why does it feel significant that this one plant is dead? Damn, I just rocked face. Oh. Oh, hey! Thanks, Polaris. I didn't even notice that. Oh. Oh. 
I'm going to tell myself that it was just another random fluctuation of his energy washing across the screen there, and I did not actually see a face staring at me in the red. Uh, yes. I guess we'll call this episode on whatever this is. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Robert. So tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. Huh. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. Is that the what lost numbers? It? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! hey are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... <laughs> Did they... What the hell? I don't want to know what the fuck that room is. And now I kind of wish I hadn't ended on that particular note, because it was really, really depressing. Uh... <laughs> wow. Well, shit happens, and you rely on in-game lore, I guess. Uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control. When we make our way further into the land of dithering effects, and, uh... <laughs> and see if we can find the slide projector. Later.